So I kind of been waiting to watch this one all day. It's been a busy week for me, busy day. Um, I actually finally watched some clips, and <laughs> it's just hilarious how Elon trolls him. So I'm actually gonna watch the full BBC interview now. Um, I think this is it. So let's get down to business and we start with the exclusive interview that took place in San Francisco between Elon Musk and our technology correspondent James Clayton. It is one of his first interviews since he bought Twitter for $44 billion. He defended his decision to lay off a massive number of staff, saying that Twitter only had four months to live unless drastic measures were taken. In, in rough numbers, a revenue drop from four and a half billion to three, um, uh, and um, expenses went from four and a half to six, creating a three billion dollar negative cash flow. I've said it on Twitter more than once. This man will bring stats to a debate. Numbers, numbers guy. I feel like he's a numbers guy. Situation, um, and Twitter having a billion dollars in the bank. That's four months to live. So unless drastic action was taken immediately, this company's going to die. And be I already don't like the sarcastic look on this man's face. Like he's looking at him like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Well, let's, let, let's talk about that drastic action because almost immediately um, you sacked a lot of Twitter workers. Um, <laughs> yeah. Straight to the, yeah, you know, we know you fired people. Like when we're going to bring up a negative straight up, like, yeah, you fired people. And, and, and look, I, I spoke to them. It's very easy to speak to them uh, when it happened. And, and, and the way they said. And I was, I was in the know. They told me. They told me because I was in the know. Pretty much everyone said is, is that it felt quite haphazard. It was. And it felt a little bit uncaring. Do you, do you, do you, uh, do I wouldn't you... say uncaring. The, 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 you know, the issue is like. Dude, Walmart will shut down 400 stores and not tell anyone. Elon even said before the buy was official that he was going to fire people. How, how much pre-notice do you need? That was way more than two weeks. Or did they not listen because they thought he was joking? Like, I didn't think he was joking. Uh, the, the company's either going to go bankrupt uh, or if, if we do not cut costs immediately. Um, this is not a, a caring, uncaring situation. It's like if the whole ship sinks, then nobody's going to drop. Right. Yeah. But, but a lot of people just lost their jobs like that. Um, and and, and the, they, weren't, well, what, they didn't what, even know they were, they were, they'd lost their jobs often. They, just, okay. were just, they were just so frozen out of you, their accounts. What would you do? Well, you might want to give someone some notice. I mean, you might. It's, by the way, I, I'm not running Twitter. But, I know, but As I said, he said there was going to be a job cut. So every single person that worked at Twitter should have known at any moment that they might lose their jobs the moment it went through because he said that. Or did that not happen? I'm pretty sure that happened. There's, yeah, it happened. This is, this is the criticism, and this is what but actual this is what I staff members but, say. A but, little bit of notice, uh, you know. No, I understand. You have four months to live. 120 days. In 120 days, you're dead. So how? So what do you want to do? How much are you worth? <laughs> what? I don't know. But you, I mean, we're talking about around the $200 billion mark. I mean, it's not no. quite, you're framing it in, in a way that, that Well, how do you just change subjects to that? He went from, you fired people. You fired people without notice. They told me, and how much are you worth? 200 billion? Hold uh, on. Like, I mean, I would assume he's talking net worth, right? I have the internet, so let me use the internet. 189.6 billion. It was two days ago. So they just rounded up. Two days ago, 171 billion. 180 billion. Uh, 200 billion. Um. <clears throat> Hundred and eighty two billion. Hmm. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know. And he says no, it's not two hundred billion. I mean he spends a lot of his monies on projects, but I mean 
I don't know. I'll go with 180 billion. But uh, yeah, that's not relevant to the interview. Is you know, it really? It had a, had a few months to live. You're quite a rich man. Um, I sold a, a lot of Tesla stock to close this deal. I did not want to sell the Tesla. Basically, he paid 44 billion for Twitter, and I believe he sold like a little over 20 billion Tesla stock. So he footed half the bill in selling Tesla stock, and I believe the other half was a loan. Stop. In what was quite a lengthy interview, Elon Musk also said he is confident that the social media platform Twitter will become profitable again and advertisers will return. Let's have a listen to this. In terms of advertising, obviously it's, the Twitter's not a private company anymore, so we don't really know how, how, it, how it's all going. Have all the advertisers come back? Uh, not all, but most. And, it, it, and you can see it for yourself on Twitter, even in the For You feed. Right. I mean, in the, sorry, following. In the following feed. Don't use For You because it sucks. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did have an extension that has an option to take For You off. I've shown that on my Twitter. You can go to my Twitter. Um, for you's back on. I know he's working on it. Um, it wasn't even like so much that for you sucked. It's just the attitudes of the people that pay to be Twitter blue and they get depressed <laughs> or like angry. For you's like a fucking cesspool of shit you don't want to see. Um, filled with hate speech, I'm told. Um, that's not what I said. Okay, fine. Uh, well, why don't you use for you? What's wrong with it? Um, how is it going? Is, is Twitter in profit now? No, Twitter is uh, uh, rough. I'd say we're, we're roughly break even at this point. And I think you've said before you, you, see, a, you see a world where you could be in profit. Is there a timeline on that, do you think? I mean, I, depending on how things go, if current trends continue, I think we could be profitable or, I mean, Pro, pro, say, Three, four years? To, to be more precise, we could be cash flow positive uh, this quarter if things keep going well. This quarter, as I soon as that? I, I possibly, yeah. Wow. Um, and do you have a message for the advertiser? I mean, can you say which advertisers haven't come back? Um, I think... I th well, I mean, we know which advertisers have left and came back, and I think we know... <laughs> News people are leaving because they don't like to show who's funding them because they think that that'll limit their credibility, which that sounds like a personal problem. Um, I think PBS is joining the BBC bandwagon and leaving. Peace. I think almost all of them have, have either come back or said they're going to come back. There are very few exceptions. Can you say, say any of the exceptions? Um, we could remember. I actually don't know of anyone who said definitively they're not coming back. They're, they're all sort of trending towards coming back. But there are some that just I haven't. Jump in, the water's warm. It's great. That's that's your message to the to the advertisers who haven't come back. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, you know, if if if, if Disney feels comfortable um, advertising, you know, children's movies, and Apple feels comfortable advertising iPhones, those are good indicators that Twitter is um, a good place to advertise. Um, I want to talk about if you have any regret, regrets. And, and, you know, I think you, you were booed at a Dave Chappelle concert. I think your own lawyer a said little. a little, a little, well, some say a little, some say a bit more. Um, I, I think your own lawyer. There's my whole thing. Who cares? Can't make everyone happy. You said you couldn't get a fair trial in San Francisco because there are lots of people that, that don't necessarily like you here. Yeah, but the, I, you know, I have to say I, I was wrong. He was wrong, I guess, the, uh, because um, I was acquitted uh, by the San Francisco jury unanimously. So, yeah. But, but I guess, but look, do, yeah, do, no, do, do you have any regrets about buying Twitter? Um, I think it was something that uh, needed to be done. Um, I mean, you it's said, been, you, you said earlier quite that you... difficult, you know. It's, uh, I'd say, the, like, the, the pain... Like, like, what was their goal for him to be like, oh, no, I'm failing, or I admit defeat, or, oh, I don't like myself. It's, like, a very weird uh, 
question format for one. But, you know, the questions are weird. The things that he brings up are weird. How does he have a job? How about BBC just fires him or whoever wrote the copy for the interview? Because uh, they suck. The level of Twitter has been extremely high. Um, this hasn't been some sort of party. Um, so uh, it's been really quite a stressful situation, uh, you know, for the last several months. Not, not an easy one. I, I, I was... um, but apart from the pain, I mean, y so it's been quite painful. Um, but I think uh, at the end of the day, it, it, it should have been done. I think did I, were there many mistakes made along the way? Of course, I'm, you know. Um, and uh, but uh, you know, all's well that ends well. And so I, I, I feel like uh, we're headed. Uh, to a good place. Um, you know, we're roughly break even. I think we're trending towards being cash flow positive very soon, like literally in a matter of, of, of months. Um, the advertisers are returning. Um, the, I think the quality of recommended tweets has improved significantly, and we've taken a lot of feedback from uh, people that have looked at the open source recommendation algorithm, and we've, we've made so a lot bad. of improvements, even, even since that was uh, made open source, and we're going to keep doing that. So, overall, I think the trend is uh, very good. So, Well, let's unpack this further with our business reporter, Joao De Silva, who joins us from our bureau in Singapore. Joao, it was an extraordinary conversation. You and Nope. But I feel like that wasn't the whole thing. I'm kind of like, how do I track this down? Because I've seen parts of the clips where it's a uh, different questions and stuff. Um, where the hell is the full interview? Or did they like take it down because <laughs> it's an embarrassment to them, not to Elon? Yeah, which two minute clip, four minute clip. I don't know. Is it like over 20 minutes long or something? They're all like it's long. Can't really find that. I just, I want to know what all happened. Can't find it. Did it take it down? Are you embarrassed, BBC? Uh, I mean, <laughs> see if we can find clips of other parts or something. What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah. Uh, Content you don't like or or hateful? What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit a, a reaction, something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is I'm that not, what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm saying. Well, I'm just curious. What you, I'm, just, I'm trying to say what you mean by hateful con content. And I'm asking for specific. He'd have to ban like all manosphere content if that's the case. Specific examples. Um, and if, and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me, you've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more. It, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's why I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't. Let's go check out the feed. Let's see. Go to the for you. So it's not like biased to who I follow. <sighs> the unbearable weight of existing in the world where everything secretly means something else. That doesn't seem hateful. Elon saying interesting to godlike power. <laughs> Someone happy at a DefCon. Kim.com's looking for a gardener. Some political updates. 
Someone liking their dog. Um. Hmm. Someone happy about their kick stream. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. You have no shit test. Autism. Autism. NPR literally said federal funding is essential to public radio on their own website. Now taken down. So am I losing federal funding in that case? Yeah, have y'all seen any any hateful? Anything hateful? I know the BBC, for example, is not thrilled about being labeled uh, state-affiliated media. I mean, our goal is simply to uh, have, um, do, you know, uh, to be as uh, truthful and accurate as possible. We're uh, adjusting the label to be publicly funded, which I think is perhaps uh, not too objectionable. I, th I think it was around just under 8,000, and 8, we're about 1,500 right now. Okay. And it, has it been hard letting up that many people go? Yeah, it's not fun at all. It's painful. The, the company's either going to go bankrupt, uh, or if, if we do not cut costs immediately. Um, this is not a, a caring, uncaring situation. It's like if the whole ship sinks, then nobody's got a job. This hasn't been. Yeah, I don't know. So. Mm -hmm. I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you said actually, a lot of people a lot of people are quite similar. I, 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 only, well, well, I only look well, at my, on a second. My you said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example, not even one. I'm not sure I've used that. You just saw me go down for you. On where? The last three or four weeks. And I, well, I, then I how did you, you see the hateful content? content? Because I've been, I've been using, I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you, for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. And you I, can't I, give a single I, one. And, and, and I'm saying, I, I, then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single example of hateful con content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed. You just lied. What no, no. What I claimed was <laughs> uh, there are many uh, organisations that liar, liar, pants on fire. Say that that kind of information is on the rise now. Whether whether it has on my Give me feed one or example. not. I mean, I, right? And you can, can you name something one. like the, the uh, strategic dialogue uh, institute in the U in the UK. They will say that. So you, they, look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right, and as, as I already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? Let, that I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content, and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then would how would you know this hateful weeks. content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, wow. How, wow. Yeah, that was rude. Like. <laughs> Do you really want answers to these questions or or is like uh, BBC down so bad they just needed an Elon Musk interview? Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re regarding ma masking and, and side effects of vaccinations? and not reporting on that at all. And what about the fact that the BBC was Spicy. put under pressure by the British government to change its editorial policy? Are you aware of that? This is, a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't? <laughs> and this, I see now why you've done Twitter Spaces. I am not a representative of the BBC's editorial policy. I want to make that clear. Let's talk about something else. You want I'm to talk about the BBC? Too. All right, let's, 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 talk, let's talk about something else. You weren't expecting that. Let's talk about something else. I like that. He's like, you know, Twitter's never. Why can Twitter's news? Why can't he interview him? Why can't it go both ways? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the most entertaining outcome is the most likely. He does say that a lot.
Yeah, I think <laughs> there was uh, something that I had saw, seen. I don't know if I liked it, but it was it was like a funny little video. It was kind of edited. Yeah, I was gonna try to find it for you, but yeah. In a nutshell, yeah, he wiped the floor with him. Later.